All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Jonglo, the owner of a Jonglo Cage Fighting Series. August 20, we have elaborated with URCC Pickers Promotion in Philippines. We'll be holding another event at Kizar Pavilion, August 20, going down. And right next to me, we have Double Sauce. Yes, sir. It's in now, the triple, building. Triple Sauce. Let's go. Triple let's Sauce. Get it, let's, get it, let's get it. Let's get it correct. Triple Sauce. The real triple champ. You feel what I'm talking about? <laughs> so now, you guys fighting for the URCC Bendemweight title. Um... Uh, uh, as an amateur, is this going to be your last amateur fight? Um, well, fuck, he's been pushing all the fucking fights back, and I've had a, uh, I had a plan. I was supposed to be, I should already be fighting for my second state title. So now right. I've been waiting for his ass fucking five, six months to fucking fight me. So, look, I'm going to take the fight, and that's what it's going to be, bro. I'm just going to, we're going to finish it there. You know what I'm saying? Just show the fuck up this time. That's it. <laughs> now, do you consider Jeremy Exquota will be the toughest challenging in your career so far? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, he's too small. He's fucking not strong enough. He's not fast enough. He's not smart enough. He's fucking in front of the wrong fucking dude. So I'm the real champ. He's been uh, pulling out for a reason because he's been scared. You feel me? So now nah, he went He went somewhere else to get his confidence up. I was there. seen him fight some fucking nobody ass dude. He walked through him. So I guess he got his confidence up. Bring all your fans. Bring the dudes that rush the cage. Bring them all. You feel me? Because you're going to need it because they're going to need to fucking carry you out the fucking ring. So. Period. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now, you fight a lot of guys that are always trying to tick you down. Yeah. You know, well they and got to. They got to. That's what they got to do. They got to grab my balls. They got to grab my knees because they don't want to stand and bang. So it's good. If he, if, uh, ho ho he's a black belt in Taekwondo, so hopefully he, he's, he's gonna, gonna bring it. Out. But that, that's probably gonna end up short too. He's gonna probably shoot because I'm gonna make him shoot with my hands and my knees and my everything I can't. Not the shit I can't throw, but the shit I can throw. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make him. Shoot, and then if he does that shit, I mean, he's gonna find out. He'll get choked the fuck out real quick. So, everywhere the fight goes, you feel me? I'm taking it and I'm taking dubs. You feel me? That's all I'm doing. So, that's fucking awesome. Now, I've been trying to put this fight together three times, and the third is a charm. And this one's kind of be good because you have a different incentive. You know, you guys fighting under the URCC belt. So, technically, if you get that strap and you'll be a triple G. Yeah. And I know Jeremy got the 559 belt and he got the belt from my promotion the last year. Yeah. And if he gets it, also a triple champ. So yeah. either one of you guys win, it's going to be a triple champ. It's going to be a triple sauce. So I do got an uh, incentive if he wants to like make it even a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like Because I already consider myself a triple champ because he didn't show up. So I'm already the triple champ. He's coming to fight for my belt because that's really my belt. I'm the real champ. So uh, you want to make it more spicy, bro. Put your fucking Fresno belt up. Put your belts up. I'll put my belts up if I need to, bro. And I'll take all your straps. I'll leave out with four belts. It doesn't matter to me, bro. So, like, it is what it is. I only got a little bit of time left till I go pro. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, I'm going to eat where I got to eat. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come get this smoke, come get this smoke. And I'm going to be there, bro, on the 20th of August. So, let's get it. Now, stylistically, let's talk a little bit about this. Like, he's a Taekwondo black belt. He loves to throw spinning kicks and front kicks, side kicks. And, and then I know you got hands and you got height advantage. You got link advantage. Yeah. How do you see this fight's gonna go down? Well, yeah, like I'm bigger, I'm faster, I'm stronger, and I'm smarter. So either way it goes, like he's, he's getting fucked up either way the fight goes. So if he tries to grab me, he's gonna get fucked up. <laughs> if we stand on the feet, my Muay Thai is gonna, like I said from the last for shit, my Muay Thai will shut his fucking Taekwondo the fuck down. I don't care about his spinning kicks, I don't give a fuck about none of that. My Muay Thai is gonna shut him down, my hands are gonna put his ass to sleep, or my feet, or my knees, or however it's gotta go. So unless, or he wants to get choked out if he wants to not get banked up. He can get choked out or arm broke or whatever the hell he want to go. So let's get it. Now, it seems like I've been trying to put this fight together. So many traditional martial artists, fans that really intriguing on this matchup. And I finally got this lack fight matchup down on August 20th. Yeah. And then, um, you know, convinced the URCC to get you guys a scrap to fight for. Yeah. Hopefully so, he shows up this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything, bro, until that cage door is closed and that ref says, let's get it. Because I don't, to, to me, bro, he ain't even going to show up to the win. So. He shows up, I'll be here, bro, but I'm not I'm not considering anything, bro. It's all blank faces from now on. It might be another opponent, you know what I'm saying? So, just like last time. Like I said, last time, it wasn't 135. I had to go up 10 pounds to go fight some random dude because he didn't want to show up. So, it is what it is. I'm sleeping them all, so let's get it. Nice. Now, you're 4-0 now, right? It's 5-0. and 5-0. and Okay, sir. Who do you think, out all over those five guys that you fought, who do you think is to give you the most challenge? They weren't really all challenging. 
maybe uh, Chris Fernandez. Chris Fernandez. Uh, only just because like when I like I, yeah, I took it on a short on a short notice, and then it was just like. Yeah, it went, it went the distance, you know what I mean? It was just kind of, he, I, I should have finished them, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of like, kind of was lazy in my camp, you know what I'm saying? So it was, but they were all kind of, uh, it actually, that wasn't really hard. I would say my first fight, because because for three rounds, he was trying to take me down, take me down. He didn't want to fight, so I would say like the dude, the dudes that are wanting to fight, they're going out early, and the dudes that don't want to fight are making, <laughs> the, are making the fight fucking boring. So yeah, like the, the dudes that want to wrestle me, I would say those would be the harder fighters because they're not, Letting me fight, you know what I'm saying? They're they want to. they holding on for the ref to say the fight's over, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. Like, I'll be here, bro. It's kill or be killed. It's the motherfucking Team Black Takeover. So, all right. So, now if people want to get a hold of you, James, how can people contact you? Uh, just contact me, man. Uh, Instagram, sauce underscore Marley420. Hit me on Facebook, James Gidry Jr. Or uh, contact my coach, Dan Black, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you probably won't catch me in the gym. Cause I'm everywhere like a ninja, so you know what I'm as simple as that, bro. I'm anywhere, everywhere. We can take it to inside the ring. We can take it outside the ring, bro. I'll finish you in out and outside in the parking lot. So let's get it. I'm tired of your ass running. I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of your ass running. I came here. I wasn't even gonna talk. I wasn't gonna do all this shit. I was gonna keep it short and simple. But now I'm talking, bro. It's already bad, bro. Like show the fuck up, bro. Because I'm putting the training camp in. Fucking train hard. Put everybody in your fucking camp. Make sure they're pushing you. Cause I want the best Jeremy S. Colter. Jeremy the fucking squirmy and skull thing is like to squirm out of fight. So let's go. Let's get it, bro. Like show up and I'm gonna be there. So Alright, sounds good. Now, do you have any special loved one training partner, coaches, supporters that you want to shout out to? Oh uh, man, just you know, shout out my coach Dan Black, man. He pushes me, bro. He uh he, he's the man with the plan. I wanna shout out the family, you know what I mean? My dad, my mom, the, the supporters, you know what I mean? Ever since I was a kid, you know what I mean? They've always gave me that push, you know what I'm saying, to go. My girlfriend, you obviously uh she supports me every day because she does get hard, you know what I mean? Um, and just like all my uh, all my, my sponsors, you know what I mean? Fuck losing my boy, you feel me? He's been helping me out with my clothing and everything. I want to uh, shout out Dad's Barbecue uh, where I work at. Uh, also want to shout out um, First Team Home uh, Remodeling where I work at. My second job too as well, you know what I mean? Just uh, just really all the supporters, man. My boy Jordan, I want to shout out The Ranch, you feel me? I want to shout out just everybody that's been giving me sponsorships, and, uh, getting me ready to, uh, you feel me, take over the world, you know what I'm saying? So let's get it. At your job... As a barbecue, what what did you do? Are you a grill man or you're yeah, a chef, bro? I'm chefing, just like this fights, bro. I'm chefing these motherfuckers up, bro. Who is that, bro? I come in, it's killing me, killing me. I, I need to, I need to get an address. I need to go down to your come barbecue through, place, through, bro. Come I through. want to see what you can help me out on some bro, ribs. Bro. Come through it, bro. Ribs, try tip, all of that. Bro. Ah, I throw it down, I throw it down <laughs> outside on the grill, and I throw it down in the ring. You see, you see what I do. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna yeah. definitely gotta try out. Be fortified. I'm gonna try out. What kind of barbecue sauce he put in on the ribs? I'm, I'm a yeah. rib fan, you know. I want to see go. what kind of ribs he get, get, get bigger. Get That's awesome. Now, if, beef. Let's go. If Jeremy Exposed are watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Show up. Ain't, ain't too much to talk about anymore, bro. Just show up, bro. I'll be there. You feel me? Be ready to get that ass beat. <laughs> now, do you have anyone? in your radar that you want to fight besides uh, Jeremy Scott? Nah, nah, it's just really whoever's got the belts, I'm taking them off. So 35, 45, 55, 70, don't matter. I'm coming. Y'all finna find out real quick. Y'all already see it, but just, yeah, line up. Bring it. I'm gonna bring the pillow. I'm gonna bring the pillow to fucking the weigh-ins just so you can be ready to fucking hold it for after the fight, so let's get it. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, here we go. James Gadry. Yep, Gadry yep. Undefeated, 5-0. and Undefeated. Looking for six and zero oh and capitalize triple sauce with exactly. the belt. The real champ, the real motherfucking champ. Let's go! All right, the one and only, and from the Bay Area. Where where, where do you live, James? Uh, I stay in uh, Brentwood, California, right now. Brentwood, yeah. California. Yeah. That's good. Uh, triple sauce right yeah. there. Expert no. barbecue sauce. Exactly. You're gonna see him in August twenty. For more information about this upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. We are updating the fight card layout on. Saturday night this weekend, so you're gonna see about 20 plus fights on the card. Do not miss it out. Uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Help me grow my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram, Dragon underscore House underscore MMA. Um, we'll see you guys August 20 and uh, put up another huge epic event for all the fight fans. The last event of the year is November 12th, and I will start preparing for the for the fight card as well. So any fighter want to get on the card, make sure you guys DM me. All you guys know how to get a hold of me. Awesome to watching these young men. Um, you know, um, so, so many people fought on my event 10, 15 years ago. Now they're in UFC, open their own gym, become a legend, become a, a, a vet in and, and this sport. And then I can't wait to watch these young men in a few years down the line.
let's see how far this young man can push himself to. You know, could that be on the board, brother? Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. August 20. Fuck that Taekwondo shit.